Hello, welcome pen friends. I thought that I would come on here today and just show you the 30 inks, the samples that I've chosen for the uh, April 2021 uh, 30 inks 30 days challenge um, and if you don't know what that is I will link you to the blog post it is put on by ink journal and they're the home of the ink flights where you can order uh, ink flight samples and get surprise uh, seven per month with either pen goodies or just the ink samples but I'll, I'll let you go and explore their website and you can learn all about it if you haven't heard of them um, you're probably new to the hobby so Okay, so here's our calendar. Um, so it's the days that have 30 days where they do this challenge. And I think there's maybe three per month. I always do September. There's something about the month of September that I, al I almost pretty much always do. But I'm apt to miss some of the others. But this time I'm doing April. I'll probably do September as well. And I may miss June because that's a busy time of, of the year for us. So... Um, <clears throat> They're here, but this won't do you much good just for me to tell you there's at least three mils of each of these So that's a good thing that helps me out a lot uh, But I have them all on the ring So this was my first step was going ahead and narrowing down which ones I was going to do and I have decided to use my um, Lamy Vista with a broad nib Each time now I've got a couple of shimmer inks. So what I may do just to make sure uh, I may go ahead and use another Safari with the broad nib, um, the identical broad nib though, black and everything else, so that I can just move right along. But I clean this out every day and most, most inks clean out super easily. Some of the, I've got two super shimmer, whoops, not that one. This one and this one that I'm not too sure about. So I'll probably use an alternate pen for these two, one of my solid color uh, safaris. So I've got the 30 inks, okay? And then I did a couple more things just to make it easy on myself. <clears throat> so what I do, how I kind of look into the challenges that, and how most people do, is I make a post each day on Instagram. So I will splatter around with the ink and write with the ink and kind of get my first impressions going. But I also, um, I like, well, I splatter on the uh, Tamoy River paper. So I cut 30 of these out. And then I do like to have an ink tile, which looks like this. Um, kind of shows me the color on watercolor paper. And it shows me a little bit about the water resistance. So I've got those cut out too. Now, it could be that I'll have a rainy day or two. I may get these done ahead of time, but I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> uh, it's kind of part of my ritual to get up each morning and do the tile first, the splatters, let those dry, and then, you know, fill my pen. So I also like to do chromatography. So I've got just a little bit going on in here left, and then I ordered some more with channel funds because I, I like to do that. So I got, I don't know, a hundred... Yeah, 100 strips. I'm going to try to put some in that little container. And then this time I'm going to use uh, the Goulet Tamoy River 68 GSM um, A5 notebook. And I got a couple of their, uh, I'll be putting these uh, stickers on here. So I feel good because this, <clears throat> anything I can do ahead of time kind of makes it easier for me. So, okay, we're getting closer here to looking at... Uh, but I'm going to show, just peek in for anybody who hasn't seen before. This is kind of how I go about it in my ink journal. I, um, I, it'll start on the 1st of April, so I'll put a 1 up here and fill it in. It gives me a chance to really see, you know, the ink in a, in a nib. And since I like a broad nib, <clears throat> that's really what I want to find out. I, I'm trying to test an ink to see, am I going to like writing letters with this? How does it look? But... Like in the case of this one, Rose Gold Antiqua, I wanted to see it in a fine nib, a, a stub nib. So I went to town with it. But I won't do that every single day, I'm sure, during 30 inks, 30 days, because I just can't keep track of all of that. But I'll do a little water test on the page. I'll do chromatography, and I'll do splats, which I really enjoy. Um, I think you could see that shimmer. And I think I only have two shimmer inks for April. But anyway, so this is, this is what I really like. And then what I'll do is come on here uh, three times. I'll do uh, 10 days at a time, so that'll be real easy because it's 30 days. And I'll show you the things that I found out and whatever else I can think of. Sometimes I come on and do tile comparisons. Okay, 
so I've got them in order. They probably won't stay in order, but uh, the first one I'm going to do is Sailor Manyo Akabi. It is gorgeous. It's magenta, and it's got a lot going on there with Sheen. And I think this was pen friend uh, Tanya that interested me in that ink. Um, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm almost positive that was the first uh, interest. Uh, and so I uh, actually I ordered a bottle. I broke my own rule. Why was that? I think I had a free bottle at Penchelet because I know one of those bottles came through free. And the other little bottle I had gotten was just a tiny little one, um, which I'm looking for. The other one was another magenta. It was Krishna Winter. Okay, then next up, <coughs> excuse me, is Robert Oster Lemongrass. That's a nice color, but I'm, I can't figure it out because I see how much lighter it is on the top of that. So that's going to be a fun mystery to... Uh, to solve and that was from pen friend ks now let's see i gotta make sure i keep track of where I, you know that you can actually see them okay then next is uh van diemen's spotted sun orchid i could have sworn somebody gave this one to me but it's possible i purchased this sample because there's another one that looks a lot like it that uh, pen friend manda sent that's going to come up in a minute that's pretty. It really is. And I've seen this a lot on Instagram. It's purple. It may be brightening up a lot because of my lighting. I thought we had sun today, but it's not. It's kind of dull. Oh, here's the Krishna winter. So this is one that, yes, I do have it, of course, in the sample. Because that's how I fill my pens. But I'm excited because I got the little bottle. <clears throat> and I wrote on the bottom pen chalet. It's getting to where I can't remember uh, things because, well so much ink so it's a little bottle and it's just just exactly right I think but this one I've already been splattering if you get pen pal letters from me you may see some splatters from this one okay then next this is one I saw on Instagram and like you know had to go and order a sample I don't know why but uh Colorverse Coffee Break you know whenever it's a really cool name and I'm interested in the color it's a lethal combination there's there's I can't withstand the uh <laughs> The desire to try it, I guess. Okay, a beautiful orange. This was also from Pen Friend KS. Orange Rumble. Wow, I've been, I've had this a while. Wow, I, I just can't believe I haven't tried this out yet. <clears throat> okay, so here it is. This is what this 30 inks, 30 days is really fun for, is kind of getting a chance to look at more of your inks on purpose and seeing what everybody else is writing with too. So Colorverse Laurel, this is from Pen Friend KS. In fact, there's a lot of them here from her. I've got that in a sample too. I think that was a little 15 mil bottle. Okay, that's a beautiful green. It's deep, but I can't wait to see it in a nib to see, you know, how it, how much of the green still shows. I hope it'll be a good, uh... my goodness, I don't plan this, but every time it seems like I am with the talking clock. Okay, then this is Van Diemen's Sailor's Delight. I do remember ordering this sample. Kind of reminded me of like somewhere between an orange and a red. I don't know if that's what we're going to find out. Let's see. Yeah, it, it looks pretty red in there. And yet I can see some complexity. Very pretty. Okay, I think that's the limit there. <laughs> Let's hope we have room. Okay, next is one that uh, Vanessa put in to my one of my pen orders. And it's Scribo Classico Sapia. Thought I'd done this one. If it turns out I did, then I will um, swap it out. But I don't think so. It's a beautiful brown. And I do remember that I had um, ordered some and had a uh, couple included in my order. So I'll, I'll need to get clear on that. Okay, so this is a beautiful kind of a... I want to say pink, and yet, no, it's more mauve. It's really, really pretty. Colorverse C Europa from Pen Friend KS. It's, I mean, I hope I was, what I did was choose the 30, and then I tried to scramble the color just a little so it wouldn't be like, you know, 16 in a row of the same color. And then this one is from Pen Friend MB. It's a Graf Von Faber Castile. And it's a it's a pink color. And I'm really curious about how this will behave, like compared with um 
they're uh, stone gray, for instance. So I, it's just, I love pink anyway. And I did put those close together. I left them close together, even though I know there's going to be a difference there. We'll be, maybe be able to compare them if they fall just right. And then this is another one that was uh, put into a recent order where I did make a large order and Vanessa um, included this ancient charm on the love of lotus. And it, oh my gosh, it's all I could do not to ink up with this, but I want to spend time with it. And I also want to make sure I put it in a, you know, just see how it behaves and learn about the uh, brand more before I get cracking with it but it's a beautiful green so um I, that's exciting that's really cool okay then this is a this is going to look black i'll bet on on screen but it is a black green and this is from pen friend ks pilot Shizuku hotison hotison 100th anniversary limited but i've been wanting to try this let's see fifth day 15 let's see if i can find it Huh. Here it is. Okay. Got plenty of it. And I can't remember if it just... Um, I don't think I've had that in a pen yet. There are just a couple of these I have had in a pen. But I still want to do all the little things that I like to do. The little tests. So next is Robert Oster Tangerine. A beautiful almost burned orange. It's, it's quite deep. And it's bright too. So that's going to be fun. And that was from Pen Friend KS. Okay, and then another one, which is kind of an interesting uh, blue. Robert Oster, Silent Night. Oh, I wrote the spelling two different ways. Let's see. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, okay. The first time was wrong. It was N-I-T-E. And that's an unusual one, too. I'm thinking I'm going to really like it. I remember another Robert Oster similar to this. Maybe stormy seas or something like that okay then um oh here's the second ancient charm one i couldn't tell what color this ink was till i got it kind of in, in the paintbrush and then once it dries there's so much sh uh, shimmer that uh, you can barely see the purple underneath maybe you can though i hope it so it's got purple but i i can only imagine how that's going to look coming out of the nib Okay, that's pretty much it, isn't it, for space. Let me make a little adjustment. I'll probably have a fit later because it won't be perfect, but that's okay. Um, the next one is a bright blue, which just really perked my interest because in this group, I think it's the only one that's quite this bright. It's just gorgeous. It's a four mil sample from K uh, Pen Friend KS, Pilot Arosh Zuku Abusu. Gosh, that's beautiful. 100th Anniversary Limited Edition. I haven't checked into the availability of any of these. I'm just going to roll with it because it'll be so much fun to try them out. Anyway, and whether or not they're available, we'll find out. That's something I always check into when I'm making my notes for my Instagram post. So next is, okay, this is the one that I was talking about, I guess. Um, well, it's not anywhere near the same color, but it is another Van Diemen's. This was definitely from Pen Friend MB. So I, I may have miscalculated this one, but uh, if I did, I do apologize. I get confused sometimes. I, I think it just comes with the territory. This is Black Tongue Spider Orchid, and it's gorgeous. And I have seen people... With this in, in the nibs, you know, the different uh, pictures on Instagram, and I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Why do I think I already have? I don't know. Probably because I used something to write that with. It was probably my glass nib. <clears throat> <laughs> you never know what I'm going to discover because I actually have, you know, so many times in the past rolled out for these 30 inks, 30 days. So the next one, it was another one that was in one of those orders. Oh, it was my most recent where I ordered the Opus uh, Omar pen from Van S. They uh, threw in a, a little sample of Califolio. Oh, I should be able to say that. But those kind of names throw me off. Bor Borgen Borgeny? <laughs> no. Oh, please forgive me for not pronouncing things right. It's kind of purpley plumish real nice um and i did that on purpose too i saw they were together and i left them together because i think they're going to be a lot different and yet share some similarities okay next up is going to be uh lavender always green 
from Penfriend CS. Um, this Levenger inks, this may be like the third one I've tried uh, samples thanks to my pen friend and, and it's really neat. But this is one of my new favorite colors. I'm using Sailor Manyo Yukakusa right now and see how similar that is. And I have just really been having a ball with it. At first I thought it was too light, but no, I really like this color family. So it's it's fun to explore. Look at that. Those are not similar, but they're they're in the family, I guess. Okay, then um, here is Fairswell Press Grape Ice Pop, and I did smear it, or no, that looks like a Coco's Tail did that. And this was in a little charger. Let's see. Uh, not this particular one, but it looks like this from Ferris Wheel Press. I got a gift certificate from a family member for my birthday, and this was one of the bottles that I ordered. I had missed out on that, or not bottle. I think I have it in a charger. I did write down five mil, so. <laughs> okay, next up is Colorverse Kepler's Law, which I had been for the longest time trying to decide between red and orange, and I do think that I had it in a nib and determined red was the color, but <laughs> you could correct me if you've had more experience. This is why I'm putting it in here, because I want to explore it. Oh, this came from Van S, too, at the same time that... Um, there's another little bottle. <laughs> can't see it. Uh, nope, I just can't see it. Should be another color verse. Well, I'm dreaming, I guess. <laughs> okay, next up is a really dark purple. And it may be hard to come across, especially on the these swatch cards, um, from Pen Friend KS, and it's Robert Oster Claret. It's dark and it looks like it has a lot of gold sh and black sheen, so that ought to be very interesting. Oops, I hope you're still able to see those. I thought we were doing 10, so no, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to adjust again. Okay, here's another one from Pen Friend CS. It's another Levenger, Cobalt Blue. So we are kind of hitting on most of the color families. The only one absent is yellow, because I'm bad with yellow. Gosh, I should have uh, made a point to put a yellow ink in. I mostly have done the ones I have, but I probably have something. Um, if I find anything duplicated, I promise to put a yellow. This is from Penfriend KS, and it is Robert Oster's Santa's Hangover, limited edition holiday 2020. That's pretty. Okay, so now I'm having to put on top of things, but maybe if I put it like that, you can still kind of see the colors. Okay, and then, okay, so for the last five we're doing all Parker inks because I got samples of these five and a couple that were um, in cartridges but I want to do the sample ones for 30 inks 30 days so this is Parker Quink Green um, it's looking more teal on the screen um, and it does kind of go over in that direction but not that much so the lighting yeah the lighting <laughs> It's always like that. Okay, next is Parker Quink Blue. I put them all together, so I, those are gonna be our our last streak there where I can kind of compare them. And then, um, and they're all six mil samples from my uh, dear pen friend WS. And uh, that's also kind of in code, so anyway. Um, not really hard to figure out, but washable blue. So that, it's interesting because it looks a little lighter than um, blue, so I'm, I'm really intrigued. And then um, Parker Quink Blue Black, which kind of comes out of my nibs darker. I have it in a, I have it in a stub nib right now, but this was from someone else, so now I'm kind of thinking, okay, we got to retone that. So I am using the very specific one that came from this pen friend uh, for this test. So I'm going to keep that separate. And then a black ink. Surprise, surprise, because you know me, I'm all about the color. But I wanted to try the Parker Quink Black because it's much more friendly and safer than Noodler's uh, Heart of Darkness. So that's something for me to learn about. So there we have it. Um, 30 inks, one for each day in April. And generally speaking, what I do um, is... Uh, get my little uh, ink journal out and I, I do all the little things I want to see. So it certainly isn't a format you have to follow. You can do it any way you want. 
uh, if you're interested. And, uh, and then I, I do at least one picture, but if I get really ambitious, then I'll do something like this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. Okay, so if, you know, if I have the time and there's nothing blowing up here or, you know, problems or appointments or whatever, you know, if it doesn't get too crazy, I like to do these comparisons. So this is going to be, this is Diamine Writer's Blood. So what I would then do um, is uh, take a picture of this and it'll go on Instagram too, along with whatever I do in my ink journal. So, for instance, for Diamine Writer's Blood, I did it on the 14th of March. Um, it was way too much for that uh, really juicy Yowo nib. So I put it in a um, fine nib, a goulet, so it was still a Yowo nib, but, um, in my Serendipity Mini. And then I didn't end up doing working this up for Instagram because I felt like neither nib was really showcasing it um, right. And so I need to run that back through maybe my Lamy Broad nib and a... I don't know. Maybe this fine nib would be okay. Anyway, um, this is what I generally do. And so I did the water test and it looked like it had a little bit of water resistance, not much. It had a left a little gray line and then it moved right up. And these are the splatters. It, it was pretty flat in terms of, um, but it's, it's a pretty ink and it's really nicely saturated. I think anybody who's writing with uh, finer nibs than me would really enjoy this. So um, on Instagram, when I do my daily, this is just a sample, you know, you'd probably get something like this and then uh, the page uh, from the ink journal. But when I do the flip through, I'm able to go through and do like um, 10 at a time. So we'll see those, uh, we'll see those first 10, assuming I have, uh, yeah, unless I break it up more, but it worked before and, and it was really kind of a nice balance in the middle. So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you just in case it would uh, give you uh, inspiration or thoughts about how you might organize ahead of time. The busier we are, I think the more we need to do ahead of time. And I don't know why I'm busy because I'm home all the time, but <laughs> I, I managed to, to create busyness and uh, I get up every morning and... and it's cat time, you know, the first thing, and they get me up early, and then I'm at my desk. And if Coco takes a nap, well, things go pretty well. Otherwise, I'm over by the sink because his tail just creates kind of a, a smear and everything. So that is all for today, and I, I hope you found this helpful. I'm going to work uh, at putting in what I think might be helpful links, and I know several of my friends are actually... Uh, likely to do, if not daily uh, videos, then, you know, jumping in uh, with videos and Instagram and so on. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do as much linking as I can to give you some resources. And I hope you enjoy it. That is the name of the game for me. I, I just keep looking at it as how can I enjoy learning about these inks and at the same time share with my pen friends any way that I can. And that for me, that's uh, YouTube and Instagram. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Oh, I'm sorry. At the end, I'm just going to show just a little bit of footage of how our palm trees and our um, bush and our aloe vera and banana trees are recovering. They're not fully recovered, but I thought you might be interested. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now. I think these palm trees are coming back. I mean, they sure are getting green as they grow out. It's very windy, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me. The other two are, the other two are showing the same good signs. Um, Manuel has, keeps on trimming them as, they, as we go here, but they, they seem to be doing quite well. The other one, pretty much the same thing. I don't know what, what's with all that bending at the top. I'm concerned about this bush. Uh, my father-in-law planted this a long, long time ago. I do see green coming out, but wow, it really got shocked and hit hard. So we're just hopeful because when it looks nice and it's trimmed, it's super pretty here in the front. Okay, so the aloe vera, I don't know. I mean, it certainly is growing up the top, but that's quite a, it's quite an interesting uh, 
presentation so we're not quite sure what will happen but we're kind of looking forward to maybe like these smaller ones I can see they're coming in we may have to pull some of these out and then you know just kind of nurture the ones that are doing well I wanted to show you the banana trees last because this is exciting um, we're, we're getting new growth um, the one in the middle there right there is actually growing right out of where the other one was so that's really kind of nice you know we're excited because these banana trees um, another neighbor pulled a bunch out and just or was going by seeing who wanted them a few years ago and at first I was a little skeptical because you you have to keep up with them and they're <laughs> they end up spawning all over the yard if you're not careful but um, they attract the monk parakeets which are some really pretty birds that are kind of in the wild now and and they're real pretty so I think the aloe vera manual had the idea of mulching down in the bottom there with that and it is it's kind of you know disintegrating or what doing whatever it does and I think it has been nice I've been watering everything little by little so it's it's really hopeful signs of spring I'd say